Hello children. I hope you're well and enjoyed last week's video. Well, we are back this week with a new video. We hope you enjoy it as well. The Lord is my shepherd, my God and my guide. Whatsoever I want, he will surely provide. Ever since I was born, it is he that hath crowned the life that he gave me was blessings all round the life that he gave me the life that he gave me was blessings all round here is today's bible reading we're going to be reading from the book of john chapter 10 verse 11 to 16. If you have a Bible at home why not read along with me? You can pause the video now, find your Bible, find John chapter 10 verse 11 and restart the video and then we can read together. So let's go. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. My sheep know just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. So I'm gonna tell you this story about a shepherd. You know, a shepherd is someone who looks after his sheep. He makes sure that they are safe, they are well cared for, make sure they're not scared and even when they're in dangerous places, that they are always safe. The shepherd looks out for them. So this is a story about a shepherd. One day, there was a man. He had a hundred sheep. And he loved his sheep so much, he always made sure that they were well cared for and they were not scared, even when they were going through dangerous places. So this gave the sheep the confidence to wander off and explore, just as we do as God's children. This man, one day, he took out his sheep as they were wandering around, eating, grazing, drinking and all that. They were quite happy. Because they're so used to exploring and wandering off, one of the sheep wandered off. And suddenly, the man realised that one of the sheep was missing. Oh my goodness, he thought to himself, where is it, where is it? So he left the 99 sheep and went to look for that one sheep that was missing. He searched high and he searched low and all over until he found the sheep. And he was so happy when he found the sheep, he literally called all his friends and told them, look, 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 my sheep was lost and I have found him. And he was so happy and he was rejoicing because he found that one sheep and he joined them to the 99 and they were a hundred sheep again. So that tells you that even the, our heavenly father, right? He just rejoices over every single one of us that are his children. If one child is in danger, he doesn't matter where that child is. He doesn't want any of the children to be lost. He will look high and low to bring that child back into the flock. That's how God is with us. That's how Jesus is with us. We're all his children. If we wander off from the house of the Lord, from God's presence, and we repent and come back, God always welcomes us with an open arm. I've got my friend Sammy the Sheep to help me. We're going to make a memory verse 
and do some drawing. Hello children, what was Auntie Bosse talking about? She was talking about the lost sheep. Today we're going to do a memory verse, so we need to draw five sheep. So if we draw a circle and then another circle attached to it. A little bit of fluff on the top for the head, a bit like a cloud. And then a big cloud for the body with a little tail and then some triangle legs. You probably can draw better than me. And then we're going to put a nose and some eyes on our sheet. And we need to do There we go, another cloud body, a little tail and some more triangle feet. So if we put the third one in the middle here, it doesn't matter if your sheep are different sizes because sheep in fields would be different sizes and different shapes too. And the last sheep here Then we're going to write the memory verse. I am the good shepherd. That's what Jesus said. He cares about his sheep. Even if one goes missing, they're important to him. And that comes from John 10 verse 11. There we go, this is what it should look like at the end. And you can colour in the sheep if you like. Let's put our hands together, shut our eyes and bow our heads. We are your children, Lord. We thank you that you care for us and look after us. We pray for your protection for our friends and family. Amen. Bye, see you next week.